My name is Ruth Wood. I'm the minister at Calvary United Church in Kingston, Ontario, and I've been there for eight years now. The last two years have been a journey for both myself and the congregation in ways that have been exciting but also challenging. I'm transgender. For me, that means that I was born with a male body, but I have a decidedly female sense of inner spirit. In May of 2010, I found that I could no longer continue to hide who I was from my family, from my friends, and especially from my parishioners. So I came out. I told them that I was transgender and that I would be changing the way that I looked so that I would be presenting the person that I felt I truly was. Obviously, I was quite relieved when most of my parishioners told me that they cared more about who I was as a person inside than what I looked like on the outside. We soon found that that was easier said than done. I started to make changes in what I thought was a horribly slow pace, and yet for some of my parishioners, it was too fast. But we kept the lines of communication open, and step by step, we learned to deal with the change. Today, our relationship is a good, solid one, and we worry about more mundane things, like how we'll pay the bills. If coming out was the beginning of the journey for my congregation, it was not the beginning of my journey. As a minister, I spend a great deal of time in theological reflection, not just in when looking at the readings or preparing Sunday worship, but also in all of the events going on in the world around me, and certainly those events that are in my personal life. So it's no surprise that I soon found myself thinking of my, my gender, my gender identity, and this disconnect between it and my body in a theological way. And I knew I had to do that. I had to be able to speak faithfully to my parishioners when I told them. And so I was soon asking questions like, where is God in all of this? What does God think of my gender and my gender identity? How can I stand up in front of my congregation and tell them faithfully that I believe God does not care that I am transgender? Looking at the scriptures for a direct answer obviously didn't work. It would be like going to the Bible looking for thoughts on how God feels about airplanes. But as I searched for more indirect guidance, I came to Psalm 139, which begins with the words, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. Now those words gave me great comfort. They helped me remember that God really does know me, that we have this wonderful, intimate relationship with God. But it was really the verses 13 and 14 of this psalm that spoke so eloquently to me. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. That I know very well. And those verses are what reminded me that I am a part of God's great, diverse creation. A diversity that includes not just human beings, but everything around us. and not only a part of the creation, but as part of that creation, loved by God. And so I was able to faithfully say to my congregation, yes, indeed, I believe that God is perfectly fine with my gender identity. I hope 
that this short insight into my journey and into my theological perspective will help you in your discernment today. And I hope that you will welcome transgender people as simply another group that are a part of God's beautiful, diverse creation.